No, I, Makai, just uh, talk about putting this all behind you and coming back next year for a fresh start. Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, it was a tough game today. It's all good, though. We, we'll be right back, ready to go. Uh, my bad. We'll be right back, ready to go. We're going to work very hard over the summer, and whatever happens um, coach-wise, we'll be 100% committed. <clears throat> Just a quick follow-up that uh, just the threes weren't falling for you guys today. That was kind of the discrepancy in the game. Uh, just what, what, what happened with the, from behind the arc today? Uh, we just had a couple defensive lapses, and all credit to Duke. They knocked down open shots when they needed to, some tough shots, and it just wasn't falling for us today. Any last questions for Makai? Okay, thank you. Uh, we'll have interim uh, head coach Scott Spinelli joining us shortly. Uh, hi, Scott. Uh, just talk about kids like Makai uh, and Demar that will be coming back next year. How are they going to be able to, you know, what can you say about the kids that will be coming back for a new coach next year? Well, first of all, you know, uh, how proud, you know, we all are of the kids, you know, in terms of the effort they put forth. Um, this obviously has been a difficult time for them. Um, you know, like we've talked about, they really were engaged in practice. They were working hard. And, um, you know, it wasn't lack of effort, you know, for the most part, these guys gave everything that they had. So that's first and foremost, I wanted to tell you that. Second thing, as far as the individual players, all the younger guys that are in the program that are coming back, you know, they need to commit themselves. This was a very tough off season, not just for us, for everybody. Um, you know, we didn't get a lot of individual workouts, you know, like most teams, a lot of practice time. And a lot of these young kids need, you know, to get in the gym, skill development. Um, you know, the game is, as you know, Rich, it's come down to being able to pass, dribble and shoot at all positions. And, um, you know, some of the sloppiness in their individual games, you know, collectively hurts the team. And I think they've got to get better in all areas today. It was glaring. We didn't shoot the ball well. Um, Duke played phenomenal. They played fantastic. Um, you know, I thought our guys played extremely hard. And um, you know, give Duke credit. They they they're hungry um, and they stepped up and, and they made a lot of shots today. But just in terms of those younger guys, to your question, Rich, it's all about you know we've had this you know model that we've always kind of followed. Great teams are made in season. Great players are made in the off season. So this is a big off season for those guys to all get in the gym as well as the weight room and to really commit to becoming a great individual player. All right, just let's send it up. Coming the disparity in the three-point shooting today? Excuse me? I, I didn't get that. I'm sorry. No, just, just a comment on the disparity in the three-point shooting. Duke just couldn't miss out there. Yeah, they shot the ball well. you got to give them credit. You look, you know, we've all been around teams at, at this time of year, and the hungry team, you know, and Duke was very, very hungry today. you got to tip your hat to them. They made some tough ones. I mean, I thought our guys played hard. We got in rotations a few times and still contested shots high hand, and they still made them. And, um, you know, that's the sign of a team that, you know, is hungry. They, they you know, they, they wanted to win. Um, and you got to give them a lot of credit, um, to be honest with you. But they, they made shots. We missed a lot of uh, opportunities there. I thought when we got to within 12 in the second half, and, um, you know, that off a couple offensive rebounds, those 50-50 balls, you know, again, this time of year in a conference tournament, if you want to win, you've got to come up with those. But give Duke a lot of credit, Rich. They played extremely well, and, and you, you know, tip your hat to them. All right, let's send it up to Josh in the radio booth. Thank you, Mike. Coach, obviously you missed Stephon Mitchell. This is a game where he would have been able to help you out, no question about it. I, I imagine it must be so disappointing for a guy who played so well for so long for BC uh, to, to for Steph to not be able to be out there. If you could just talk about uh, what his absence meant today and then what his career has meant for BC over the last four years. Well, I mean, first of all, his career, Steph's had a tremendous career here for four years. We've talked about this on senior day. Um, again, being from this area, I think, um, you know, specifically Massachusetts, New England, we all appreciate those guys that bring it every day. Um, those guys, those players that play to win, they play every possession um, with unbelievable effort. You know, he's that ham and egg type guy that we kind of all, you know, in this area, especially appreciate. You can't help but root for him. Um, as far as his, you know, absence, look, it was an opportunity for other guys to step up. And, um, you know, we obviously missed him, but at the same time, you know, other guys had chances too, Josh, um, to step up. But, 
you know, Steph, you know, um, should hold his head high. He's done a lot of great things here at Boston College, um, you know, um, off the court also, but on the court, he'll be missed for his blue collar, his tenacity, his effort, and his desire to win. I'll go with one more. Thank you, Mike. Yep. Put in perspective, Coach, the last couple of weeks and what they've been like for everybody to go through coming out of the COVID pause and having to get back onto the court and travel all over the place. Uh, how how have these last couple of weeks been like for you guys to go through? Well, I, first of all, I think the, you know, the kids deserve a lot of credit. We've got great character kids and these guys really you know, bought in and they rallied. I mean, we, you know, we had a chance here to win a couple of games. We, you know, we had the big win over Notre Dame and had a chance to win at Miami. Um, and so they were really engaged at getting better in practice every day and they were playing to win. And so, you know, the kids deserve a lot of credit, you know, for, you know, really coming together through adversity, um, you know, and really, you know, we can continue to get better every day in practice, Josh, they were all bought in. You can't help, but you know, uh, root for these guys because they're, they are kids that, you know, are going to be successful moving forward and whatever they choose to do. And each and every one of them, they're quality young men and you can't help but respect, you know, those guys in terms of what they had to go through this year. You know, some of those kids were in multiple isolation situations in COVID protocol. I mean, you can imagine being a college kid or high school kid or anybody that, for that matter that has to be in isolation and, uh, and then come back and have to compete at this level you know, with all the change and the adversity. And again, it's not just our team, it's, it's kids everywhere. So, you know, you got to give them a lot of credit uh, for their perseverance and, you know, um, determination. And, uh, you know, they, they, you, know you got to tip your hat to all these guys, just, just great, great character kids.